In this episode of Quest Kids, the pirates are up to no good. Skylar flexes her muscles and a long locked treasure chest is open. Stick around. We're never done. It was a beautiful afternoon in the town square of Treasure Falls, and Tink, one of the town merchants, was trying to sell his wares. He had lots of fine goods to offer. You, sir, said Tink, would you like a sword? Already have twelve, the man said. Twelve? Well, look, here's thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Or how would a nice pitcher or a helmet? Then some treasure fall birds came by and started messing with Tink. Hey, there's no water in there. Leave me alone, said Tink. Oh, man! Shoo! Shoo! Soon thereafter, two of the quest kids were travelling down the road. If it isn't Ivy, the princess of Spirit Valley, and Skylar, the most powerful quest kid of my lifetime. I must look silly to two heroes like you. Here, let me change. You look great, Tink, said Skylar. We were wondering if you had any new bows or axes for us to take a look at. Of course I do, said Tink. They're in here, somewhere. While they were waiting, Skylar noticed the treasure chest next to Tink's booth. Hey, what's that? Ah, you have a good eye, my lady, said Tink. This chest has been with my family for over 50 years, ever since the Battle of Betrayal, but nobody knows how to open it. What's inside is a mystery. At the same time, two of Treasure Falls' silly pirates wandered into town. First, there was Empty Belly, the perpetually hungry pirate and his mischievous friend, the appropriately named Peggy. Yeah, come on, Belly, said Peggy. Let's go cause some pirate trouble. Wow, what do we have here? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Belly? That there's food in the treasure chest, answered Empty Belly. <laughs> no, not food, said Peggy. Treasure! And so, while Ivy and Skylar continued to shop at Tink's shop, the silly pirates devised a plan. I think what we need is a classic pirate diversion, said Peggy. Uh, what's the diversion? asked Empty Belly. A diversion, said Peggy, is something that'll make Tink focused on something else instead of his treasure chest. Betsy, said Peggy, give me that treasure, will ya? Skylar and Ivy rushed over to Tink. Are you okay, Tink? asked a concerned Ivy. Yes, yes, I'm fine, said Tink. But I saw some pirates take my treasure chest. Skylar, Ivy, you and the Quest Kids have to get it back. Thanks, Betsy, said Peggy. Come on, Belly, let's get this treasure and scram. Welcome to the pirate hideout of Treasure Falls, where the silly pirates plan their silly plans. Look, said the pirates, here comes Peggy and Empty Belly. Oh, where have these two gone into now? said another pirate. Hey, guys, said Peggy, look what we found in town. He means the treasure, not the turkey leg, said Empty Belly. I've had this all day. <laughs> found, said a pirate. You don't just find a treasure chest. Yeah, said another pirate. You two stole it. Did those quest kids see you take the chest? Uh, I don't think so. Have you tried to open it, Peggy? Of course I've tried to open it. What do you think? I'm a plant. Um, a bird? No, we don't think you're a bird. A strawberry. No, we don't think you're a strawberry. We just want to know if you tried to open the chest. Of course I tried to open the chest. It just won't open. Do it won't open. Peg leg attack. I see, you're right, Peggy. 
Well, let's lock it away for now until we can figure out how to open it. Empty belly. What are you doing in here? This is my eating cave. Get out of here! Uh, okay. I'll find another eating cave. Now, welcome to the Quest Kids Treehouse. The Quest Kids headquarters where the team of little heroes train and prepare to help out the town of Treasure Falls. There's Flint, the brave dragon. Mason, the wise dwarf. Crash, the young but diligent wizard. And Noah, the wily warrior. Skylar and Ivy return to the treehouse with an emergency. Quest Kids, some of the silly pirates stole a treasure from Tink. We need to get it back. Mason, I think we could use your smarts to find the treasure at the pirate hideout, said Skylar. Um, the first place I would check would be the cave across the river, said Noah. That's where the pirates keep things that are valuable to them. Noah, how did you know where pirates would hide a treasure chest? Asked Skylar. Uh, I just do, okay, said Noah. In any event, said Mason, I'm going to need my axe. That night at the pirate hideout, the pirates were sleeping. OK, Quest Kids, said Skylar. Let's go over the plan one more time. Mason, you get the treasure. Ivy and I will do the rest. But there was a problem. Mason needed a way across the river. OK, Skylar, said Mason. Let's solve this problem with a little poem. How does one cross a river when no way across is known? The answer is to change the question to how far can a dwarf be thrown? Just far enough, it seems, said Mason. Mason slowly approached the cave and saw Noah was right. The treasure was in there, but Empty Belly was guarding it. Mason, being a wise quest kid, knew it was always better to solve a problem without fighting, if possible. And he always knew that Empty Belly loved his turkey leg and would follow it anywhere. Empty Belly woke up with a yawn. Wait, where's my turkey leg? Here, turkey leg! Ah, here you are. I'm going to eat you. However, sometimes, Mason said, to solve a problem, force is necessary. What was that noise? Hey, the Quest Kids are here. Hey, Skylar, Ivy, the pirates seem to have woken from their slumber. OK, Peggy, said Skylar. It's time to give us back Tink's treasure. Why do you care if we have the chest? said Peggy. Me found it fair and square. We're the Quest Kids. It's our quest to care. Also, you stole it from our friend, Tink. Empty Belly is guarding the treasure. And there are four of us over here and only two of you. Plus, we have a cannon. Ivy, would you please take care of the cannon? Treasure! Hey, Ivy, I could use some assistance as well. I don't care, you hear me? If you can shoot green magic arrows, that's me treasure. It's Peggy's treasure. Um, Peggy. Maybe we should let them go. These guys mean business. It's Peggy's treasure! What do you think I am, a bowling ball? What's a bowling ball? Peggy, what I think you are, said Skylar, 
is a pirate who is about to find out the power of the Quest Kids. Nice work, team, said Skylar. Mason, do you have the treasure? I sure do, said Mason. Let's go. Will you tell me if there's any food in that there chest? The next morning at the Quest Kids treehouse, Tink came over to see his treasure. Great work getting the treasure back, team, said Flint. Yeah, said Noah. It looks like you brought your friends along. Yes. Thank you so much, Quest Kids, said Tink. I'm so happy to have my family treasure back, but I still have no idea how to open it. I might be able to help with that, said Crash. I was reading a spell just this morning that might do the trick. It reads, when something's been locked away for too long, the magic can be released with a dragon's song. A dragon's song, said Flint. Well, I do like to sing. Here's one that my mum used to sing me all the time when I was a young dragon. <clears throat> Soaring fast and flying free Through the hills and over trees When we fly high and far A dragon has a happy heart Soaring fast and flying free Is where a dragon's meant to be Oh, that's a good song, said Noah. I think it's working, said Crash. What are these, said Tink. This is not what I expected to be in my family's treasure chest. Very interesting, said Mason. Each one of these mysterious pieces seems to have a letter on them. We have an L, an O, a T and a K. Hmm, said Mason. Does this spell anything? I don't think so. Let's try putting the K in the front. Um, clot? Um, what if we put the T in the front and the K at the back? Tolk. That, that spells Tolk. Tolk, said Skylar. That's the name of the Great Treasure Falls Wizard. Tolk the Wise. Tink, this might end up being more valuable than any treasure you could imagine. Since these strange items from Tink's treasure spelled Tolk, it only makes sense to bring them back to his old cabin, said Skylar. I agree, said Mason. Nobody's seen the Great Wizard for 50 years. Not since he disappeared at the Battle of Betrayal. I'd like to meet him, said Skylar. So would I, said Mason. <laughs> my, my, my. What have the Quest Kids found this time? Thank you for watching the Quest Kids. Every week, our team of young heroes will quest for knowledge, adventure, and fun. If you'd like to quest with us, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out our other videos with Skylar, Ivy, Mason and all the other Quest Kids. And remember, a Quest Kids quest is never done.